What's up, YouTube? It's Todd Horst here with Tasty Tracker, and I thought I'd do a quick episode on commissions. Uh, a lot of people have questions on whether they should go with a uh, higher level broker that offers better services but charges commissions, or whether they should stick with Robinhood or Webull. Last I checked with Webull, you couldn't do um, more complicated spreads. Uh, you could only do um, uh, singles, like a naked buying, and I don't even know if you can tell buying uh, calls and puts, which uh, is not how I play most of the time. Um, so they're sort of out of the question. Um, but Robinhood, you can do all of these strategies with. Um, and so then the question is, why would I go with a paid platform versus a free platform? And certainly uh, your choice, you can do whatever you want. Um, but, uh, you know, years ago, uh, Tastyworks was the cheapest. TD and all of them had a higher fee structure. Um, because of Robinhood, the uh, fees have gone down and down and down. And now pretty much everybody's uh, l uh, equal. The only difference I would say is Tastyworks does still have a bit of an edge if you play more than 10 contracts. Um, then they cap your commissions at that instead of continuing to increase. So that is still one reason to go with Tastyworks, but uh, it's diminished a bit compared to what it used to be. Hopefully they adjust their fees in the future to sort of be the middle ground uh, between Robinhood and, and TD and stuff. But um, I would still recommend them. It's still the primary platform I use. Um, but you can see, uh, you know, if you go over to my website, um, this is my uh, small account challenge I've been doing. I spent $300 this year in commissions alone. That, to me, is, uh, especially in a small account challenge, is something. So it's worth uh, considering changing. So the next small account challenge I will do will be with um, Robinhood. But at the end of the day, I'm going from 2000 to 10000 And so $300, $500 um, to, to make that is not going to make a huge impact of course over years and years of trading um, you could say that could compound and that could be a significant sum of money um, but the other thing I would say is it's just the little niceties that um, Tasty Trade has or again uh, TD any of them but um, you know I can go in here I can click on strategies uh, if I'm feeling lazy it's already on vertical by default I can do short put which is a lot of what I do um, I can click on the time button and it will pull those legs over from period to period. Um, so I can say I want the January um, and I just had to keep hitting plus. Then I can uh, you know, spread that out if I want and go up. These are just nice little buttons that, yeah, it's not a big deal. Um, but uh, if I'm trying to enter a trade quickly, it's nice to be able to use a nice UI. Robinhood's UI is terrible. Um, for entering spreads, anything more than buying um, a single call or put, uh, to me, is annoying. Um, and then it's the same with closing. So if I go to my losing trade here, Baba, and I can click on this, close 50%, and hit submit. And boom, um, that's all it took. And uh, if I want to edit that, I can hit edit and go down now with Robinhood, at least uh, last time I played with it, you had to cancel the order sometimes um, and then uh, enter in a new closing order. There were other places where you could just edit it, but um, that had been newer too. Um, so I will admit that I haven't used Robinhood in a bit. The point I'm trying to make is, Rob, uh, to me, these little features and this graph up here um, and you know things like having the... Um, ability to sort here by IV rank. Uh, if you have a personal, you can create your own, um, you know, watch list, obviously I have a couple. Um, and then then you can sort by IV rank to see which ones are most volatile. Uh, it depends on your, um, your method, uh, but you know, these might be ones you avoid because they're overly uh, expected to move. You might come down here somewhere in um, the middle, get something that has higher premiums, but not going to move quite so far. Um, and then you can avoid these as if you're g going on the seller side. Anyway, there are all these different reasons that I believe the $300 uh, is worth it. Um, and they allow me to be more successful. So even though um, 
Uh, it costs me money. In the end, I'm making more money than if I were on Robinhood. That's all kind of uh, uh, hearsay. It, I might next time do the two to ten. Uh, 2 to 10k challenge on both a Robin Hood and a Tastyworks to see if I can get the exact same fills. I know that's a uh, large complaint a lot of times, and I think that's actually from new people who aren't used to the way that options fill. They do take a moment, especially um, if you're right at the mid. Um, but um, so I personally don't think Robin Hood has an issue with filling, but it would be nice to test that out with uh, with two different brokers. Anyway, uh, that's my two cents. Commissions, don't worry about it. Use the broker that uh, fits your style the best. Um, and uh, to me, that would be Tastyworks or TD Ameritrade because Thinkorswim is uh, is an awesome platform uh, once you get proficient at it. So that's it. Thanks.